Also, I love the way both levels. Damn it! Why do you have to be pedaling right there? I don't care if it's your job to pedal. Why do you have to get in my way? <sighs> okay, you got this dickwad who's pedaling a boat right in the middle of this. I don't know why you have to be doing that. Oh, yeah, by the way, the seagulls on the boxes, they could kill you, so be careful. Yeah, it's a very unfortunate death, death by seagull, but it, it could happen. Okay, the crystal's right there. You just get the crystal really quickly. Okay. And, woo! This is, this is Coco, so I can't do the Whoa! I mean, does Coco really have anything like that? I mean, yeah! She, I, don't think, I don't think she really says anything, but okay. But she, she doesn't wall, I can tell you that much. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing so far doing okay. Ugh. Just gotta navigate a little more carefully. Like I said before, the weight on the wave boat is a little bit really wonky. So, where you think. Also, hitboxes. Yeah, hitboxes can also be a pain in the ass, too. So, ah, damn it. So, you know, where you think you're safe, you're probably not safe, and you should probably, like, you know, reposition yourself. Damn it, I missed it again. Holy crap. Okay. It right. The stupid boat guy's right there, so I'm a little bit, I was a little bit, a little hesitant. And, uh, tap that, tap that too, and we got the box gem. Okay, good. We made that with both. Okay, that's good. That's that's good. Holy crap. Yeah, the wave boat levels, they're going to get me very, very tense in this let's play. And I think we're... Wait, are we done with the tier? Yeah, I think we're actually done with the tier. So tier 1 is done, actually. That was fairly quick. Yeah, pull out my butt pockets. And yep, now we got Tiny. So, first boss fight of the game. Tiny Tiger. Now sporting a uh, gladiator look. Alright, so that just happened. Alright, so after this Aku Aku loading screen, we'll finally get to the boss fight. And the first boss fight isn't fairly hard. And yeah, Cortex is now supporting a, a Julius Caesar look. You can get the pose too. I love how all the people in the audience too are like Cortex's work workers. <laughs> look at them. I, I actually just know that right now. Okay. Now we got to fight Tiny. So Tiny is a fairly easy boss fight. So he's going to start by stabbing you with his pitchfork. Or more, he's going to start jumping around. So when he stabs you, when he tries stabbing you with a triton, that's moment to attack. That's fairly all it is. And then, you know, he'll send the tigers because it's not really meta. Oh, no, he sends a lion. No, wait, are they tigers or lions? No, I think they're tigers. So he sends out tigers. You can spin them away. So, you know, it isn't that uh, much of a threat. So he'll start jumping at you again. And, yeah, it's pretty much the pattern. It's a fairly easy pattern, but, you know, there are very simple ways you can screw up, which I screw up multiple ways. You know, I spun away too many tigers, and one ended up, one ended up eating me. So that was not fun. So you might want to be a little careful, like, how many tigers you spin around, because if you spin too many, I think the game will just treat that as you, you um, uh, like, if you spin too many, the game will just treat it as, like, you, uh, the tiger's hitboxes won't really count, and it won't eat you, and it's not fun. Now, come on, Tiny. Ah, there we go. And yeah, by the way, I will say this about this game. After every boss fight um, you you uh, you beat, you do get a power-up. So that is really, really cool. And Crash's moveset is Crash is probably the most versatile Crash has ever been in any of the games. So first we got the Super Belly Flop, which is like the Belly Flop, only super. And you never use it. <laughs> I mean, it's probably one of the most useless, useless power-up in the whole game. I, I mean, compared to what you... Oh, wait. Well done, children. By defeating Tiny, you have unlocked the gate to the next time travel area. Go back to the center of this time twister and save your progress if you wish. From there, you will see that the gate to the second time travel area is now open. Yeah, that's happened. Okay, but yeah, back to the thing about Super Belly Fop. So yeah, Super Belly Fop is probably one of the most useless power-ups in Crash history. But, I mean, it looks like this. Looks a lot more super, but yeah. So now we're up to tier 2. So now tier 6 is G-Wiz. And now we got... Ooh, a new kind of baddie. Cool. Why? Why must you 
continue to be a thorn in our side. Who? What? Where was I? Oh, Tiny was a good fellow. He hated everyone and everything, but a good heart nonetheless. Please be more reasonable with my minions next time. Okay, Cortex, I didn't know you had sympathy towards your minions. To be fair, I think Tiny was actually Embryo's minion. I don't know why Tiny converted to Cortex. But yeah. So yeah, in this tier, we actually have a new villain that we're going to be fighting. We're going to be fighting Dingo Dial, but you know, you'll see more of him later. Now we got G-Wiz. And I will say though, out of all three games that really did benefit from the new graphics engine for the PS4, I think that Crashy was probably the one that benefited the most, only because they add so many lighting effects to this game that it just looks so nice. Like, look at this sunset. So beautiful. Let me get that Aku Aku right there. And now we got little Merlin, guys. Yeah, it's it. And when you spin away, they disintegrate. How brooding. Oh my god, we just murder Merlin. I mean, Merlin's kind of a dick according to Sonic and Black Knight, but yeah. Was he even Sonic Black Knight? I don't even know, but whatever. Woo! Oh, see, right now I gotta get a lot more lives because I kind of, I kind of wasted a lot of lives in the um, other levels. So let me see if I can get this. And ah, uh, yeah, it's really all that belly fob is good for. And damn it, there was a—I could have gotten a life right there. I mean, whatever. I spin away the frogs and the goats. And oh, we got sword wielding mooks now. Okay, that's a uh, little variety. Just gonna spin you away. <laughs> and off he goes. Oh, that was close. Oh, chickens. There's actually a trophy in this game for you to uh, blow up five chickens. Uh, how you blow them up, I'll show later, but yeah, it's, there's a trophy for that. A little bit weird, but yeah. yeah. And ooh, invincible. Let's go. Whoa. Oh, that was close. Okay, I probably should have slide jump right there. Just gonna blow all these up. Oh, so, like, it just feels so satisfying. And oh wow, bonus room, way to kill the buzz game. Have to put have to put the bonus level right here specifically. They couldn't have waited for much longer. And oh I remember this one being a little tricky too. Okay, this is gonna be a little tricky. Alright, I'm ready for this. Alright, let's go. Wait, dig it! Dig it! Okay, if I can get a lot of lives in this bonus level, I will be genuinely happy. Okay, over here you gotta be a little bit platforming, so just slide, yeah, jump on that, and then yeah, everything will be popped up. If you if you hit the uh, if you hit the decimation crate before you hit that box, and you can't get it, which sucks, but you know should have expected it from Crash. Okay, I can't even talk today. Then again, what can I ever talk without stuttering a lot? But yeah. Level's almost on too, so that's always good. How many lives do we have? 26 lives. Okay, 26 lives. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. I am very hungry, but I'm not going to stop the recording now because I should have recorded earlier, but I kind of forgot to record, so I'm doing this a little bit late. And oof. Just going to spin to this goat. See what happens. Oh, I want to spin to the guy, and then all the nitros will blow up. Eh, I guess we can't have all. I guess we can't have what we want. But yeah, you know, right there, that sword guy. If you don't spin to the goat, if the goat doesn't hit him, you can actually spin to the sword guy, and then he'll go flying to the nitro crates, and everything blows up. It's pretty cool. A little, a little thing I like, but, you know, yeah, I couldn't do it today, but, oh, whatever. Okay, so now, g -Wiz is done. We got another crystal, another box gem. We are actually doing very good. Holy crap. Now, I think next, because it's my luck, will be a motorcycle level. No, we got an Arabian Nights level. Ooh, cool. Hang him high. So yeah, another, another new level trope. Now we have the Arabian Nights levels. You know, one thing, you know, there's nothing wrong with the Arabian Nights levels in the um, in the remake. Like, you know, I you know they, they, they work like they did in the original game. But one, one thing I didn't like that they changed about these uh, levels is that the original theme from the, um, uh, the original Crash 3, it felt, it, it, it sounded really good. Like, I love that original theme. Like, you know, it had like the, the, the Arabian drums. It had like the uh, nice melody. I don't know why, but for the remake, they got rid of, they got rid of the percussion. Like, they, they got rid of it, and it, it, I don't know why. It, it feels like the track suffers because of it. Like, whenever you guys get the time, look up the original track from the original Crash 3. Like, it sounds really, like, nice, but I don't know why they have to change the soundtrack. It's just, man, it's stupid. Okay, now let's be invincible again. Out of the way, Scorpions. Yeah, Scorpions are in this level, and we got these guys that can't... We got monkeys that actually carry 
giant jars. I don't know why they do that, but they just, they just do. Ooh, nice. 27. 27 lives. Out of the way, monkeys. Oof. Okay. I had no idea how fast it was going, so I had to be a little careful right there. Crap. How come I how come I can't really? Okay, get rid of that. Now hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. That was close. Out of the way, you stupid. I took the hit! No! Damn it. I think I actually spin away the scorpions, but I kinda want to test it out right now, so let me just keep going and hey bonus room. Crap, hurry up! Wait, I got okay, I can do this, I can do this. Nice! That is how you platform like a boss. We got the extra life, nice. Five more boxes, so where are they? Oh, they're over here. Damn it. Oh yeah, over here, get the TNT. So is this, what is this, this is the, yep, here we go. Nice, two lives and 72 Wumpa, okay, cool. So we're gonna get three lives from this? Yep, we're probably gonna get three lives from this. Nice, we're at 30 lives, okay. I'm, I'm doing pretty good with lives so far. For Crash 3, there isn't that, that, there isn't like that one level where I lose all my lives because it's just really BS. Like for um, Crash 1, it was definitely the high road probably, or um, it was one of the layer levels. I forgot, I think it's called the lab. It was, yeah, it was like that. For Crash 2, it was definitely Kolar Crash or any other, or Piston in the Way. It was definitely one of those few levels, but for Crash 3, there isn't really that one level. Gotta be a little careful. Okay, good. I mean, if I if I would have hit the Nitro, I had the Aku Aku with me, but, you know, I just I didn't want that to happen. Okay. Uh, okay, I don't know why breaking the uh, the jars would set, make the monkey just go away, but yeah, that's that just happened. Oh yeah, for this stage, you can't get the yellow gem because it is a secret passageway, so I will come back for that later. I'll be back for you, the yellow gem. I'll be back soon. But we did get the crystal in the box gem, so yeah, it's hooray. We're making progress. A lot of progress. Yeah, it makes my life a lot more easier when I got backtrack. Ugh. Okay, so next level, I think now is the motorcycle levels. I hope it really isn't, but knowing me, it probably is going to be motorcycle levels. Aww. Aww. Okay. Yup, hog ride. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna try to kill two birds with one stone. I'm probably not gonna be able to do that just because these levels could suck a dick. Or more like the drivers could suck a dick because I don't know who taught these drivers how to drive, but they uh, could be either the most ruthless or the most stupidest drivers you will ever experience. See, it's fairly simple. Press R2 to accelerate, press L2 to break. You can't go backwards. So if you miss a box, tough luck because you have to either restart the stage or just forget about the box game entirely and just play the rest of the game like you're supposed to. But yeah, it's yeah, it's just pretty much a race. That's honestly the best way I can put it. These drivers could seriously suck it. Okay, so right now I'm going to try to get... Like I said, I'm going to try to kill two birds with one stone. So I will try to get the box gem and the, uh, the crystal for coming in first. And yeah, if you want the crystal, you have to come in first. So it's not like, you know, it's not one of those things where like, you know, crystal's like on the road and you just have to pick it up. Nah, you have to come in first. So it could be very, very hard. Okay, right now I'm in third place. Okay, if I could take this. Okay, good, 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 good. If I could avoid this guy too. Holy crap, that stupid driver was. That driver was thinking about ramming into me. Okay, let me just sneak right past it. Nice! Two birds with one stone. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, nice. We got the crystal and the box gem. Holy crap. I really cut it a little too close for that one. Uh, I should have really hit that booster when I had the chance. But, I mean, I did it. Got both the box and the crystal. I am happy. Maybe I'll actually do two tiers in this recording session. Holy crap. Wow, I'm actually doing this a lot faster than I expected. Alright, so next level, I... I, can't, I actually don't know what the next level is. I'm trying to think. Is it another one of the prehistoric levels? Or is it another one of the riding the uh, animal levels? Oh, it's an yeah, no, another new uh, trope. We got the Egyptian levels. Tomb time. 
Good day, mate. Dingle Dial's the name. And Uka Uka and Cortex gave me orders to bring the crystal to them during the Ice Ages. So give me the goods and shove off, or I'll roast you. And yeah, that's the new minion, Dingo Dial. If it wasn't obvious, he's a cross between a ding, um, a uh, a dingo and a crocodile. Yeah, that's really all he is. And also has a flamethrower too. But you you guys will be seeing that during the boss fight. See, now we got the Egyptian levels. Cool. So in this one, I think I can't. I think I could get the the box gem. I think I could do that. It's just the extra gem. I think I might need one of the color gems to get. But I'll see what I could do. Okay. Oh, that was close. Why did I consider doing that? That was a very stupid move on me, but somehow I managed to avoid that. I don't know how I managed to do that. I don't know why there's brown stuff on the floor, but I seriously hope that's like oil or something like that. Okay. And now we just gotta stand on Neo. Yeah, if it wasn't obvious, I Neo's Cortex's first name, so yeah, just, you know, yeah, if it wasn't obvious, Cortex already has his pyramid under wraps. So yeah. That's all I can really say about that. And now, ooh, we got a TNT filled bonus room. Cool. Wh Why? That was a simple ass jump, and I. Argh. I really hit myself. But I mean, it's a bonus room, so I'm not really losing a lot of lives on it. But holy crap, how I managed to mess it up, too. Damn it. Okay, let me fix my mic. Yeah, if you hear a little rustling from my mic, I'm sorry. My mic was kind of just like, you know, falling down. Like, it was actually almost in my mouth. Basic platforming. Okay, now we got this. Nice! Extra life, cool. And like a boss. I am very hungry right now. Holy crap. Yeah, after the recording, I'm definitely going to make myself some food because I am horrendously starving right now. Now let's keep on going! Okay, now over here. There's actually something I really do want to show off. So this monkey right over here is throwing shit at you. Yeah, it's kind of obvious. But you know, once it runs out of shit, because yeah, that could happen. Something a little funny happens. So I'm going to cut back to when a little something funny happens because it's, it's actually pretty cool. And it, is, it, also, it is also a trophy. So yeah, just going to show you guys. Okay, yeah, it ran out of shit. That took a little bit. So break all the jars. And yeah, <laughs> since it's a monkey heaven, I love that so much. Holy crap. Hurry up, hurry up. Yeah, these stupid Egyptian guys can seriously suck a big one because I because it's like the timing on them is so like it's like the, it's it's like it's out to get me. That's the best I can put it. Like whenever I think I'm in the clear, they always drop one on me. Whenever like, you know, I don't want to risk it, they just they never drop one. It this the timing is just so bipolar. It's like it's like the world wants to see me fail. 